And uh, this morning, we're, we're actually going to talk about staging a house. And the reason why I want to do this <laughs> interview is because I, right now, am looking for a house myself. And I have seen some horrendous attempts at doing some staging. So we're joined by Mar Jennings. He's our lifestyle style expert. You're just an expert <laughs> on all this kind of stuff. So, Good morning, Sam. Good, Good morning. morning to you. So um, listen, so you're gonna, you're already familiar with what's happening right now. It's awful. And I'm sure you can agree that uh, you, most experts say that within 30 seconds, a potential buyer can determine whether or not they want to even enter your home. And as a potential buyer, I can tell you that it doesn't take me much more than that when I walk inside a house to say, no, nah, this is not gonna happen. Well, sometimes you don't even have to go inside. You will do those drive-bys and just say, absolutely, absolutely not. So let's start with that. Yeah, give Curb us some do's. Some important. do's and don'ts here. Okay, okay. so do prepare by having a spring cleanup. So it's important to get out there in the garden, make sure that everything has been picked up, all the debris, and most importantly, you see this a lot, there's still Christmas decorations up. If oh, you have a yep. Christmas wreath, <laughs> if you have Christmas lights, what does that say? You don't maintain. That's you don't exactly stay it. on top and of And that's one of the things that a lot of times people who are trying to sell their house, they don't realize. When they have some of these older things in there, the first thought that comes into my head is, oh, this house is old. They don't maintain the house. The roof's probably old. They probably have an old heating system and Right, and right. It like sets that. the tone. So you want to freshen that up. Make sure that's all gone. You know, I'm not opposed to having a wreath mm -hmm. as long as it is uh, for the season, yes. the proper season. So that's also very welcoming as well. Speaking about welcoming, a great welcome mat says a lot because if you have a ratty old mat and it's tired, you know, it, again, it just kind of sets the tone. Yeah, or none at all, too. That also tells right. me that the person wasn't doing a great job at maintaining their house as well. They don't care about it. You so. want to score some big points right at the front door. You want to make sure that your front door is painted. Mm -hmm. And it's very inexpensive to paint your front door. Make sure it has a nice, clean luster. And it is very in tune with, you know, the rest of the house. Don't do anything shocking that kind of throws yeah. the color tone of what you're looking at. Okay, also, so, symmetry. You want to make sure that at the front door, go ahead and put a planter. Put two planters on each side. Make sure they're fresh and they're ready to go. Sometimes the moment you see something dead at the door is the moment that potential buyer I'm is dead I'm telling you, at the door. what you're saying is speaking to me because I see this <laughs> happening. It's so many, I've probably looked at 40 houses already and I see it. The outside of the house doesn't look great. And I right. say, I don't even want to waste my time going in the inside. And I'm not kidding. There have been a few times that I said, eh, you know what? Let's just cancel this appointment. There you go. So you're very familiar with that. One thing that's very, very hard for people to do is to depersonalize their home. And you have to look at it as a business uh, mentality. Is Get that, rid of the awkward family photos. Yeah, because you I can't want even tell anything, you how many times you've seen Anything that, that shows, you know, family photos. Yeah. You want to put those away. That's sometimes very hard for people. But you want to have the illusion of your potential buyer seeing themselves in your house. Exactly. Not it you in their house. That, that's exactly it. So you're inside a person's house. What else, you know, what else should you You know, I love for? to put a note on the refrigerator and just say, welcome to Roseburg Gardens. Welcome to our home. Yeah. We love this place. We've enjoyed it with our family. I hope you love it just as much as we have. I've seen you people know? put out milk and cookies before. Milk and cookies. Yeah. You know, again, it's about that experience. When you go to a beautiful hotel, what is it about the hotel experience that you really love? <laughs> the beds are made. Of course. So important. I yeah. mean, if, if a room has a bed that's not made, what was going to happen is they're going to go in and say, oh, okay, yeah. walk out. They won't remember the room. They'll remember the bed that wasn't made. And the cleanliness is important, and we're starting to run out of time, yeah. so let's move Roll down your towels this way. And fresh flowers is always the key. You want that fragrance uh, experience in the home, and they don't have to be fresh, real flowers. Silk flowers are fantastic. Mm -hmm. You can spray them with perfume because the average buyer is just going to smell them. They're not going to touch them. So that's a great way to constantly have great flowers. How about this Candles, guy over there? Yeah. Okay. And color tones. You want to uh, neutralize your color tone. You want to have a fragrance in the air. Candles a great way of doing that as well. So, now you have. Yes. A... Today at two o'clock, okay. Westport Library. I am hosting an event with Dick Button, mm -hmm. and he will be there talking about his new book, and he'll be answering some questions. Right. Westport Library, two o'clock. It's free. I do encourage people to come. It should be a lot of fun. As a former figure skater, it's going to be very interesting to meet this iconic man in Westport Now, today. if, if you could tell a person to do one thing, because we're now completely out of time, what would you tell them to do? If they could do one thing, one thing only. One thing only is just basically to have their eyes set to make sure that everything is clean, tucked away, and put away. That was Neat. the word I was trying to get you to say. The word Neat. clean. It's so, it, it, I see it happen so often. Neat.